RFID cards like this can be a great way to activate public EV chargers. You just pull up, plug in, tap your card, and you're good to go. You don't need to use the app or anything like that. And they're really nice in areas with bad phone reception, because if you don't have internet, you can't use the app to activate it, but the RFID cards will still work. At the moment in Australia, ChargeFox, EV, and BP Pulse all allow you to order RFID cards and add those RFID cards to your account. But if you order RFID cards from all three of those companies and you have to pay for each RFID card you order, the cost of just ordering the RFID cards can kind of start to add up. And then you've got these three RFID cards that you have to carry around and pick, figure out which one you need to use and pick that one. So it starts to get a bit annoying with too many cards. But you actually don't need to order a separate card for each one. All you need to do is order one of these RFID cards and you can link this one card to your account across all three networks. So I have a BP Pulse card and an EV card. I'm actually gonna set the BP Pulse card aside, and from now on, I'm just going to use my EV card anywhere that accepts RFID card tapping, and I'm just going to link my EV card to my accounts. So, if you don't have any RFID cards yet, you'll need to go and order one. I'd probably recommend EV. ChargeFox will charge you $9 to order one of these, whereas EV's only $5. BP's the same price, but I'd go with EV anyway. And then you'll have a unique code on the card that you order, and you'll basically just have to pull up the app for each of those networks and put that code in as though you're registering an RFID card that you've purchased from them. On the BP Pulse app, you'll tap your profile picture or little person icon in the top left-hand corner, then you'll scroll down a bit in here, and you'll see key fobs here. And now I already have my BP Pulse card added in here, so that's what that number is. But I'm going to set the BP Pulse card aside now and just use the EV card. So I'll leave it on my account. You can have multiple RFID cards. So if I ever decide I want to use the BP Pulse card in the future, it's there and it'll still work. But I'm going to click add key fob now. And now I'll just need to enter that code on my EV RFID card in here to add the EV RFID card to my BP Pulse account. So I'll just do that and tap add. And now my EV card will be added to my BP Pulse account. So I can go ahead to a BP Pulse charger and tap my EV card and start charging. Similarly, with ChargeFox, you'll just pull up the ChargeFox app and you'll tap on the menu in the top left-hand corner and tap my profile there. Then you'll scroll down just a little bit to RFID cards. And if you already had a ChargeFox card or something, you might see it there, but I don't have one. But we'll just go ahead and tap add card here and type that same number in here and tap submit. And now this EV RFID card has been added to my ChargeFox account. So I can go back out of that. And now I can use the EV card to tap and activate any ChargeFox charges, which is really nice because there's a lot of chargers around that use the ChargeFox network. And also you will have the EV app I've had this EV card for a while and I ordered it from EV. So many months ago, I came in here and tapped profile and tapped EV pass and I added my EV pass. But if you've only just ordered your EV card and you haven't done this yet, you would need to come in here and tap activate EV pass and then add your EV pass. Or if you chose to use a BP Pulse card or if you felt like spending extra money and using a ChargeFox card, you could also just tap activate EV pass and add that number in. So I might actually do that as a demonstration and add this BP Pulse number here in there. 
And that way, if I ever need to charge a BP Pulse a EV charger and I don't have my EV card, I could also use the BP Pulse card since I have it. So I'll type that in there. And now this BP Pulse card will also work to activate EV chargers. And in fact, while I'm here, I could also go to the ChargeFox app and add my BP Pulse card. And then I have two RFID cards that will both activate any of the three charging network chargers. So I could do that seeing as I have two. You probably wouldn't bother if you're going to order these cards new. You just go with either an EV or a BP Pulse one. But if you want to have spares, backup spares, you could order more and add them all to all of your accounts. But I thought that was pretty cool to be able to add one card to all three of the different RFID network networks that allow you to use RFID cards. It's not massively more convenient to have just one card, but it's quite good saving the cost, not having to buy three cards. And it is kind of nice just having one card no matter where you pull up, you just know it's this card. And now, this one EV RFID card will work at ChargeFox. And BP Pulse. Or EV. So, that's all to this video, so hopefully you liked it, and I'll see you in another one soon.